Hi, my name is Ami Magani. I work for Progression Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to move an assembly from one file location to another. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, you might want to use one of these methods when you are uh, moving an assembly, say from a network drive to your local drive. Um, so what I have is an example uh, assembly stored here in this folder called Old Location and you see the parts and the assembly here. And each of these other folders are empty and I'll show you uh, these three methods shortly. So I'm gonna go to SolidWorks and just to check and verify where the parts are stored, I'm gonna go to File, Find References and I can see the name of each component in this assembly and the folder where it's stores, stored. Um, so I'm gonna close this window and the most obvious method is just simply to do a save as. So you can do file, save as, and you can choose another folder. So in this case, I might choose this new location, save as. Uh, this option, what it does is it keeps um, a copy of the original file in the original location. Um, it gives you the option to give the upper level assembly a new name. So you might want to give it old location um, example and you also have this checkbox option to include all referenced components that means it will not only do a save as of the upper level assembly but also the components that are contained in it I'm going to choose that you can also even rename it using some of these options but I won't go into that today um, so I'm going to choose the file name old location example Okay, so now notice after I did that, my active document, that means the file that's currently open, has changed to old location example. And that's what a save as does. That's kind of the difference between save as versus save as copy. And we have another video on the difference between that um, that you can search on our YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you our Windows Explorer menu. So now I have old location stored in the old location, but then I have the save as that I just did and you'll see that I have all those parts now in this new folder. So that's option one, doing a file save as. The next option is a pack and go. So what you can do is go to the file pull down menu and go to pack and go. And it's very similar. You see the item structure uh, you see the folder where it's stored and then you can save it to a different folder and so you can change that right here by selecting browse and in this option I'd like to choose the pack and go folder select OK you also have those prefix and suffix options if you want and then click Save. So let's look at Windows Explorer. So that's how you do a pack and go. That's your second option. The third option is just simply to use your Windows Explorer right click option. So I'm going to go back to our original old location and you can right click on these files, go to SolidWorks, and select the Move option. Now the problem with this option is that you can only move one document at a time. It is a good option if you just want to move like a simple part file, but if you want to move an assembly and all the referenced parts, then this is probably not your best option. So as an example, I'll control select all of these, which like I said, it will only allow one document at a time, but let me choose all of these items and I might right click and go to SolidWorks, move, but it only picked up one document, the pin, because that's the one I was, my cursor was on when I right clicked. 
um, and I might choose another folder. SolidWorks Explorer, OK. So it will do the move for you. When I click OK, it removes the pin from this folder and puts it into that new folder. But SOLIDWORKS does recognize the reference. So when you open that assembly, it does recognize that the pin has been moved to this other folder. It won't give you the error saying, oh, I can't find the pin part. You can find this equivalent option using the SOLIDWORKS Explorer. So we'll go to SOLIDWORKS Explorer. And all you have to do is go to your Windows Start menu and just type Explorer here and you should find your SOLIDWORKS Explorer there. So I have the SOLIDWORKS Explorer already open, but you'll see that I have the option to move a document. If I want to move the bracket, you have the option to move, but if I control select, I don't have that option. So again, this option is only for single documents. One thing I wanted to mention when we did the pack and go is that the advantage with a pack and go is that you don't have to have the file open to perform that pack and go option. So we can go to the old location. I can actually just close SolidWorks. And you can do a pack and go without actually opening the file. So especially if it's a really large file and you don't want to wait for it to load, you can simply right click on the upper level assembly choose SOLIDWORKS and choose pack and go and you'll have that same option here you can uh, choose the folder you want to save it to you can also save it as a zip file this is really handy when you want to email it to someone um, so you can select the zip file and you can click on email after packaging and when you click save it launches your Outlook um, and already starts the email for you so it kind of saves you a couple of steps there I'm Ami Megani. Thank you for watching our tech tip.